Okay, so here we're at the base of the cliff that was far, far in the distance when we first started. So we moved south half a kilometer or so. And what we're looking at is pieces of slabs of mudstone which has fallen off the cliff. It's the best place to see exposure to the fossils. And there are three fossils that we want to focus on here. One of them is these little things that look like a backbone, vertebrae. These little things that look like the vertebrae that are here and these little round bits. These were the stems of what we call crinoids. And their common name is sea lily. And so the stem is what holds up and a big flower on top. We rarely see the flower. But these stems are very abundant around here. The second very common fossil here is something called a bryzoan. And that is like a beautiful lace that would just catch things in the, in the sea as it came through. So it's a beautiful lace. And if you look closely here, you can see little bits of lace. These bryozoans are very common. These crinoids are very common. And then the other is this spirifer brachiopod, this big shell here, which we can see millions of them over here. And if we look over here, we can see a beautiful shell there that's a brachiopod. And so the deal is that we really only see three fossils here in great abundance. And if we look at a slab like this one here, we can see that this is a death assemblage which means that these things, which are not pelagic, they're not swimming around in the sea, they're benthic. They live on the ocean floor. And so that when there's a storm or a slump, they could just bury everyone. And that death assemblage means it tells us exactly what was here. And what it is, is a large abundance of only three species, which means that there is something fishy I don't mean fishy, I mean something unusual about this environment, that only three species could adapt to it. And those that adapted to it could go absolutely nuts because there were no predators. So that these things went really bonkers here because it was so cold. And so if you look at the ecosystem and you define all of the species that are here, you can tell if there's something unusual about it. This does not have the diversity we see in, for instance, a tropical environment. It's completely different. So this is another indicator of what's going on here. 